Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I normally do videos for laser engravers, but somebody asked me how to do this, a collage of, looks like Polaroid pictures. And I actually didn't kind of know how to do it. I knew how to do it, but I didn't know the ex steps. So I watched a couple of videos, so I thought I'd add it to my channel. So I, I brought in a second picture this time. We're gonna start and we're gonna make a box. And I just realized this one, I'm used red box, red hairline, and I don't whoop, I don't want red on this one. And I wanna make the lines a little bit thicker. And this is for a printer. And I'm, I'm using somebody else's file from today. So their, their settings are a little different. So we're gonna go with that. So I've got a box. I'm going to go to effects and contour. I'm gonna to contour to the inside. And I'm also got CMYK. And I don't really guess it matters because there are, are a, not a laser engravers. And I'm gonna to go to black. It'd be a lot easier just to contour it and then uh, worry about that later. So I've got a contour. I'm gonna to go to a range and break contour apart. I'm gonna grab the outside box and I'm gonna bring it down. Whoop. Do I get that handle? I'm gonna bring it down. Kind of make it look like a Polaroid. Now I'm gonna take the Smart Fill tool. I'm gonna to fill that in with white, which I never do, but this is for a like a t-shirt or something. And then I'm gonna take a the smart fill tool again, I'm gonna fill it in like a, with a light gray in the center. And then I'm gonna select all this and I'm gonna to go to arrange and I'm gonna group it together. Now I'm gonna control D and make a duplicate and I'm gonna bring this over and I'm gonna rotate a little bit, double clicking on it, rotate. I'm just gonna hit plus on the keyboard this time so it doesn't give me an, another copy and control D like that, let's rotate it another different way. Uh, let's go with, let's make a copy of this straight one, control D, and, and I am not an artist, so you can kind of tell and use your own judgment. Now we want, we want the center picture, like this one right here, to kind of be the middle and maybe be on top. So we're gonna to go to order front of page. So now we have that one and, and you see that I need to probably uh, make these a little bit different. So we've got four, five, six, let's do one more, control D and let's put it here. And let's rotate it the other way. Just trying to make something different now, I'm gonna do this a little bit different than I saw in the video. This thing is like 16 inches, so I'm gonna change my nudge factor to 18. To me, it's gonna make it a little bit easier. I'm gonna fill this in. Let's get rid of this. I'm gonna fill this in with a blue, move it over. Fill this in with a blue, move it over. Whoop, I guess that's not gonna work. Let's do this. Let's smart fill it with a different color. Let's, let's go with the lighter blue. Fill this in, move it over, fill this in, move it over. And the reason for, for me to move them over, it's gonna be a lot easier to combine them. I'm gonna go to a range, I'm gonna combine. Now those are all one group. And you can see, I can move it right back. Now we're gonna take our photograph, just kind of place it on top, make sure, let's stretch it out a little bit and you'd probably wanna do that before you start. Then go to a range and power clip and place inside frame, voila. And you can edit the power clip, especially if this was a, a person, but that would look pretty cool on a t-shirt. Uh, anyway, so that's how I would do it. And it came out pretty good. I, you definitely need to make the, the, the Polaroid black and you could even make them a little bit thicker line 
And because um, you would want it kind of stand out, especially if you're printing this on a T-shirt. But anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.